Starbucks Grande Mocha. Generally my drink when I come here. I got I got a little bit of weight because uh, apparently the, the Tesla supercharging station is kind of going slow right now. Now, so I'm just chilling at a Starbucks. So you might wonder, how do I know when this car is fully charged? Well, the cool thing about Tesla is that, you know, it's, uh, there's one reason I love them. Uh, it has an app. So check it out, check this out. <clears throat> it's loading up, all right, update it. So this is the Tesla app. And the Tesla app allows me to pretty much control the car. It, it tells me uh, charging, how long I have the charging. Like right now, I got, it's, yeah, it's only getting 80 miles of charge an hour right now. So it says I'll be here for an hour and 40 minutes, but it might, it might speed up. And so this is how I, I know when the car is fully charged. In, in fact, when the car is close to being full, it will send me a, an alert to say your car is almost done. You should start heading back to the, uh, the charging station because if you don't, See, one of the biggest complaints with Tesla owner was in the past was uh, people would go charge a Tesla, they plug it in, and then they go shopping or whatever, and then the car's fully charged, but they haven't come back yet, and there's people waiting to, to charge up the car, and you know, there's a fully charged car. So what Tesla has done since done is that uh, if you don't, if you don't, if your car is fully charged, and you don't leave within five minutes, like unplug and leave within five minutes, they start charging you. I think they charge you a dollar a minute for every minute you are there. So, <laughs> and actually, it starts at the time charging is completed. So basically, if you don't pull the plug up within five minutes, instant five bucks, and then plus a dollar per minute onward, right? So, that, it's a good incentive, and it, it has helped a lot in uh, alleviating any possible lineup that, you know, that's happening on busy superchargers. Another cool feature of the Tesla, uh, basically, the car is tied to the GPS, so therefore, I know where it is, see? I know where it's parked. Uh, it tracks it in real time, so the car is moving. I can see it move on the map. Uh, so if the car gets stolen, you know, Teslas are one of the rarest stolen cars ever because, well, certainly because you always know where the car is, right? So, uh, and it's also, I, I suppose it, it's not the best car to use if you're, if you're a cheating spouse or you want to be unfaithful. Uh, can you imagine, uh, here you go, what are you doing at the Beverly Hills Hotel? <laughs> so the, don't, don't use a Tesla. Another cool feature, the app also controls the Tesla's climate, climate system. So right now I can tell the inside of the car is 81 degrees. I can actually engage the uh, you know, AC on right now. So when I get back to the car, it's, it's nice and cool. It also has a, I guess, a keep the pet from dying mode. So if the temperature inside the car exceeds whatever level you set at, the climate control system will turn on, you know, to maintain uh, that, that temperature. This way, you know, hot summer days, like not right now, we're, we're in winter time, well, winter time by California standard, but you know, we're, we're, in, we're in the summer in California, it can get, you know, the car can get 120 degrees inside, be baking in the sun. And obviously if you have a pet inside your car, you know, the, the pet's gonna die. And I believe, I don't know how many, pets are killed every year because of this, I'm sure. A large enough number that Tesla decided to do something about it. And so I can, if I have a widget in the car in the summertime, I can set it to, if the temperature exceeds 90 degrees, cool it down and it, it will do that. And yeah, because the car is battery power, you know, that there's no motor to drive any kind of compressor kind of stuff. This stuff actually works. Like uh, a few other automotive company, uh, ICE vehicle has claimed to, to you know, be able to do this. Uh, turn on the climate before you get into the car. Only, only thing is the Tesla is the only one that actually works. <laughs> All those other ones, they, they don't work that well. <laughs> yeah. So it's, um, yeah. One of the reasons, one of the cool things, this neat stuff I just like about the car. And while we're on the subject of Tesla, I want to update you, I guess a little, uh, talk a little bit about my, about, my, about my Model 3 reservation. You know, I, I, uh, I reserved that Model 3 and I'm thinking of canceling it because I know it's on the limited car, but I'm still waiting. I can't even place an order for the car yet because I'm still in reservation mode. Uh, one person, one, one viewer did ask that you just can't cancel an order. It, it's, it's not an order right now, it's a reservation. And a reservation, I can cancel anytime I want. So what, what I think I'll do is uh, I'll give it a, another week or so and see if they invite me to place an order. 
If they do, then I'll go through with it. But if I don't get it within, uh, if I don't get it within uh, the next few weeks, uh, I think I'm gonna cancel it and, and uh, just look at getting something else. You know what's amazing? I sometimes have to pinch myself on this kind of stuff. The, the, the fact that I can run my entire business with this phone. I mean, <laughs> smart. The, the, I tell you, the, the, the technology is an amazing thing. I, my entire business on this phone. I can access everything. I access my blog and my email, all my documents because all my documents are in the clouds. So you know, scan on Evernote. Uh, I could <laughs> track in a Tesla even. But uh, I, you know, it's uh, you know of all the um, of all the um, I guess benefits of the dot com lifestyle. You know, I mentioned the, the three main one: time freedom, money freedom, location freedom. The location freedom is definitely by far the best. And and it used to be it used to be location freedom was quite heavy because I would have to carry a big laptop and other equipment to in order to run my business. But now. You know, it fits in my pocket. I mean, literally, I mean, it fits in the pocket. A multi-million dollar business in my pocket. I'm um, looking at the uh, shareholders report for Starbucks. They're a publicly traded company, so, uh, and, uh, you know, I was like looking at companies that I think of investing in. And according to this, according to shareholders report, the average Starbucks, you know, they have thousands of units around the world. The average Starbucks does $750,000 a year. One Starbucks, pretty damn impressive. And, but what, what, what really boggles my mind sometimes is that, you know, start, this Starbucks is doing 750000 a year. Uh, last month, they did, they did scratch close sale, not net profit, okay, that's close sale. They, uh, they have to deduct their, you know, the, the lease on this place. They have to deduct all the cost of all this merchandise. And of course, the employee costs and any other cost that might be associated with running this store. But, you know, 750000 is their gross sales. And, oh, Per year, seven fifty thousand per year, and the, the the shocking thing, at least to me anyway, is that last month I almost made that too as well. I almost last month I did like six hundred, think six hundred, six hundred something thousand, six hundred, yeah, around six hundred thousand dollars last month. One month, seven fifty thousand bucks a year for one Starbucks my online business, which is powered by this phone. One month, six hundred grand. Hey, that's the power of the internet. Nothing like it. Ah, it's gonna be a nice sunny day today. Then again, that's pretty much a norm here in the OC. This supercharger station is one of the originals. There's only seven stalls, and it used to be always be full. Like it was so full that Tesla had, a, had an attendant working there to manage the flow of traffic. But in the last month, Tesla has opened up a 20 stall supercharger station at the San Clemente Mall, so now there's always a couple empty spots, so it's not as full as it used to be, which is good. And if photos are wondering, look at that, see? Security, way to the camera, because Big Brother Tesla is watching you.